I'm Hybrid Fox Kid, and welcome back to Pokemon Violet. In the previous episode, we made our way to the fairy base of Team Star, and we just ran around, fought some people, and we got halfway through this guy's challenge. I think I defeated two people. Yeah, we defeated two trainers, and yeah, so we're halfway there, but today we're going to be taking on Ortega of the fairy crew, and then maybe if we have enough time at the end of the episode, we'll continue fighting those trainers. But today, we're definitely taking on Team Star, and we are getting our fourth badge. Well, Team Star badge, that is. But we shall have a good time. We've already met with Clive, and Clive is like, hmm, Cassiopeia seems a bit interesting, don't they? And I'm like, mm-hmm, they sure seem shifty. But yeah, that's beside the point. We shall continue on anyways. Hello! Wait, actually, before I do that, should I switch out? Okay, so we'll have Tiny out front. Yeah, let's quickly switch our team. Oh, I do that every time! Um, chain position. Chuck Lotus there as well. What else is good? You're bad, you're bad. You're average. And you do average? Yeah, let's chuck Narin um, into the third position. Because I like Narin and he doesn't get enough love. Okay, let's continue on. So we're ready for the raid, which is good. I will return later when it's time for Young Master's piano lessons. Until then, please give him my regards. Y yes Mr. Harrington. Okay. <laughs> hmm? Hi! It's me! I'm ready to party. And who might you be, young lady? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think he hates me. Ah, I see. Since you seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew. The... Rookbar? Rockbar. Rockbar squad, I'll say that. Led by the young master Ortega. Um, Mr. Harrington, do you think we're supposed to be giving out that information? Oops. No? Then please accept my apologies. Whoopsie. Do you have any idea who this young lady might be? She's not a friend of ours, you know. I think she might be here to try and take us on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Understood. In that case, I take it that you're an adversary of the young master. Uh, I guess that follows. <laughs> Is that so? Well then, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Oh god, it's raining! Why? Huh? Would you be so kind to indulge me in a quick battle? <gasps> yes! Do we get the cool theme song? Splendid, then let us begin. Why does it have to rain every time? Ha oh, ha, epic music. I love it. Pokemon trainer Harrington. Okay. Please be a high level so it takes me a while to kill you. <laughs> oh, fairy dark. Fairy's not resistant to fairy, so that should be okay. Oh, level 48. Okay. Let's go with the play rough. Wait. Yeah, dark. Okay, we'll be fine. We got this. Yeah, I love how my character, I just play her as clueless as possible. <laughs> like, she is clueless 99% of the time. She has no idea what's going on. And I love it. <laughs> okay, Morgrim down. Easy enough. God, I love this song so much. You have no idea. <laughs> Ooh, Lotus got to level up and learnt something. I am so happy I get to listen to this music for long now. Okay, so we got Sludge Wave and frame rate is trucking. Okay, so special 95, special 65, oh yes please. Now at the perfect time as well, just as I'm about to hit the fairy gym. Ta-da! Lotus forgot Venice shot and let Sludge Wave instead. God, this music's fantastic. So good. <laughs> uh, Hatram. That's Psychic Fairy? Yes, so that should be... Is Psychic immune? No, yeah, so I, I don't think it's immune, but I know it's resistant, so maybe switch out to Florian, but that oh, I should have just kept Tidy and gone Gigaton Hammer. That would have been the smarter thing to do. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully Florian can outspeed it and um, one-shot it. If not, goodbye, Florian. <laughs> we didn't need you anyways, apparently. Oh, look at her. This music is amazing! Okay, this will do mono damage, but hopefully, maybe a one shot. Woo! There we go, we got it! <laughs> My terrible mistake was happily, like, amended there. Beautiful. Aha! I am running at like 20 frames per second. We defeated Harrington! And the, the cool music is now gone. Hmm. Well, well. Well, well, indeed. I do like the music, though. Please come back. An outstanding performance. However, 
Be aware that young Marta Ortega's battle prowess surpasses my paltry skills. You would do well to take care. Oh, thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hasta la vista! Okay. That gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I think. At least that's what I heard. Now he is, like, tutoring the boss or something? He shows up here sometime to take the boss to his lesson. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? I don't know. <laughs> There's no doubting you're here to make trouble, so I gotta let everyone know. Okay. Hasta la vista! Okay, bye bye Have a good day. Okay, easy enough. So we got the awesome soundtrack dealt with. Ratatata! Hi, Cassiopeia, how are we doing? I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. Yay! <laughs> the base belongs to Team Star's fairy crew, the Rock Bar Squad. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him and things will go south for you quickly. He is also a real lead from the back type. He gets his grunt to do all the dirty work for him, but his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry and he'll march out the front line to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up and go from there. Ring the bell on the gates when you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Ruck Bar Squad off the map. I don't know if I'm saying that right, Bill. <laughs> okay, we'll continue on. We've got our team set up and ready, so let's go. Uh, yes, we are ready to challenge. We've got our three leads and they're going to do well. So my only problem is I'm going to have to watch out for a Tinker Turn. Beep. Okay. Code red, code red, Operation Starfall alert. Everyone get into position and defend the boss with all you got. And rest assured, intruder, we'll deal with you without the boss's help. Unless you manage to beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, that is. Good luck with that. I've had a good record for it. Ah, look at Tiny go. Uh, defeat 30 of the Pokemon, easy enough. Yeah, because I think Ortega has a Tinkerton, so that might be a problem when she comes around because I don't actually think Tinkerton is weak to anything. Maybe, oh wait, maybe fire? That actually might be a good call because I actually don't know what fairy's good against. I know it's like defensively good against dragon and dark? I think that's the only thing it's good against. No, it's probably good against more. I have no idea. I know fairy is a really busted type and mixing it with steel is also pretty busted so Oh, I think Flare will help us, hopefully. Okay, so we're halfway there. You got this, Tiny, I believe! Okay, where are we going? Oh, we got a Daxbun! I love Daxbun. He was cool. Why don't we have a floor? Just... Okay, take that batch out. And we'll continue over this way. We've got some Tinker Tops and some Tinker Tinks. Oh, look at Tiny take them on! <laughs> okay, that should be everything. There we go. Beautiful! You did well, Tiny. You're an absolute legend. Mm -hmm. Our defense is a breach. It's all up to the boss now. Well, hopefully I can beat the boss. <laughs> ah, I still stress about fighting a Team Star boss after the travesty that was Mella. Hmm. Cool. Cool car, though. It looks awesome. I do like Ortega. He is really cool. Hi, how we doing? <laughs> boss of Team Star's fairy crew, Ortega. Easy enough. We should hopefully get through this nice and fast. Huh? So you're hybrid. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone. I don't know. A little more beefed up. Well, thanks. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose to you anyways. That's what you think. <laughs> if you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. Have you seen Tiny? She's terrifying. <laughs> she will kill you. Okay, let's get this started. Hi, how we doing? Ah! You are challenged by Ortega of Team Star. He is really cool, I do like him. Ooh, and Zumarill. Oh, -ho, we got Tiny on the case! Oh, oh water's good against steel. I promise I'll play nice. So don't blame me when this battle sends you uh, bubble blabbling back home. I don't know. And the problem is, is I've discovered, I actually looked this up, steel is weak to water. So let's hope I, oh no. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Dodge it. Yes, go tiny. You're an absolute legend. Um, let's just go with the Gigaton Hammer. 
Let's try and take him out. Wait, why did I use play rough? I was supposed to do Gigaton Hammer. Never mind. Uh, it's fine. It's okay. I'm not dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wiggly tough. Uh, yeah, we'll be fine to keep you in. Oh, wait. No, I can't use Gigaton Hammer again. Oh, you just get a smack or something. Um. Yeah, we'll use play rough. Might as well do stab. Yeah, I gotta remember that I can't do it back to back. Ooh. Okay, not bad. Ooh. Haha! Uh, -ha! It pays to be a steel, a steel type. Oopsie, did I realize how outmatched you are? Do you want to give up? I'm actually doing rather well, mate. Don't worry about a thing. Let's keep going. Let's save the Gigaton Hammer for the next shot, maybe. I should. Mm. Okay, I think Tiny or a Tinkerton might be coming in next. Oh, yay! A little bit of HP. Oh, no, Duck Spawn. Okay, let's switch purely so I can save Gigaton Hammer for the car, Reveru. Uh, so yeah, let's switch out to Lotus. And maybe I might get Toxic Debris set up if I get hit. Wait, that doesn't count. Okay, never mind. It doesn't count for the um, Reveru, which I found out previously. Okay, time to try out Sludge Wave. I just got this. Ow! How dare! That's super effective. Okay, fair enough. I didn't know that one. Oh yeah, ground is gonna get poison, isn't it? Okay! Sorry, Dark Spawn. Oh, you're so cute. Okay. One more Pokemon to go. And gotta send out Reveroom! Yeah, I love this music. What the heck? Why is my team on the road? This is totally not fair! Ah, uh, don't worry. All your mates will like this. Misty Surge. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot I can't switch, can I? Oh, okay, we'll end up with Lotus then. Lotus- Oh, God! We won't end up with Lotus then. Okay, well, there's the toxic debris. <laughs> Not that it's gonna do anything anyways. Oh! Was that a toxic debris thing or was that just a one-time thing? I have no idea. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's see. I doubt it. Yeah, nah. Sorry, mate. You did well, Lotus. You did really well. She did a lot of damage. Oh, speed harshly fell. Ooh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Lotus. Sorry. You did well. Thanks for the help. Okay, we'll switch back into Tiny. And she can do one final Gigaton Hammer to end the show. Oh, I'm so determined. Look at me. And the frame rate is back to 20. Okay, Gigaton Hammer. Goodbye. It's been fun. And smush. <laughs> oh, kill! I killed Ortega, he just appeared! <laughs> oh god, he defeated Ortega. There we go, beautiful. That was a lot easier this time around. Yeah, my previous game I did not have a good move against fairy type. I had nothing. <laughs> I did not have any steel or poison. Ah, how could I lose? What the heck? I'm sorry, Ortega. Oh god, now it's time to voice five separate characters. About a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. What are we doing? Ah, what the heck? You like that line, don't you? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile, and I was up all night building it. The problem, clearly, is we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two Charcadets, but it's just too heavy. It's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry, I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow, tis no occasion for melancholy. melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand, genius thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all this effort would have zero payout, I would have just asked Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? <laughs> Mella, call it, would you? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents for bags of cash to fix our problem for us. Or did you forget? Oh, you got cold out there, bud. If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, we just gotta crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Millie. Do you have an actual plan? Yep, I'm gonna train up my child cadet and have them evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the Starmobile moving in no sweat. By the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand, will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Okay, 
Millie, wait! Oh. You know, Bella shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. God, this sucks. Ah, I like Bella. She's a cutie. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in battle. If any of our squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down, and going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. God, fine. Not like I have a choice anyways. So take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. Oh, is it time for a photo ops? Hey, photo ops! Yeah! <laughs> He's a good guy in the end. I do like him. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Here's my favourite TM too. Feel free to marvel in how awesome it is. Is it play rough? No, definitely gleam! Not going to use it because I don't have a special attacker. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Thanks for the prezi. Appreciate it. And just so you know, you are the worst, like, the most annoying person ever. Oh wow, thanks, I just said you were cool. <laughs> but I get it, you're super strong, I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmer Bill. Oh, hi, how we doing? Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington? I guess it's time for my piano lessons, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head home. Ah, oh, actually, a different matter brought me. There's somebody I would like you to meet. It's Clive! He's a distance acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want to tell you something. You're the son of the wealthy family and the heir to a major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you just met. Well, my answer is the same as everybody else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. So the Academy really did have an issue with bullying. Who would have guessed, right? The school is all rainbow and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. Why, what happened to them? As the former director of the academy, I believe I am the best position to answer this question, Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Stars confronted the students who used to bully them, and an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal uh, Cerato? What does that even mean? Cerato Unknown Proportion. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. But, but there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all the records of the incident, you see. Oh, what? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to me. This student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other student from Team Star from any blame. Huh? No one told me that! I accept the request and agreed to not take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad. This was not the intended punishment. You understand, Team Stars were the victim after all. I wanted the students to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Galar region, under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the academy servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing? That's terrible. After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accept the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as a director. The rest of the teaching staff had joined me in handing in their notices. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. Mm hmm. I understand my action caused a lot of great deal of trouble. You have my sincerest apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decided to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on with its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends in Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? Of course, you know. They're my greatest treasure in the whole world. Aww, ain't that adorable? Okay, so we got a lot of backstory, and that's why all the teachers resigned. We had a person like three or four episodes ago saying that they had the secret that all the teachers resigned suddenly. 
So now we know the reason. Uh, is Cassiopeia gonna ring us? Ratatata! Hello, Cassiopeia, how you doing? Hybrid, it's me. I take that Ortega handed over his star badge to you then. Mm hmm. It was successful! I see. With this boss no longer around, the Rock Bar Squad is as good as finished. Mm hmm. Oh, even Ortega. Oh, you're reminiscing again. What's the matter? I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Hybrid. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that you're acquaintances. Have you known each other long? Um, yeah, we're best of buds. <laughs> well, he's clearly a reliable friend. You must remind me of the gang back in the day. Uh, which gang? Hmm? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad boss themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star. Though you could hardly call it a contest, the bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from battle the first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after another and Team Star ended up the villains of the story. Oh, But that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Thank you, appreciate you! Yeah, I always forget that I have a robot voice for Cassiopeia, and I just forget halfway through. <laughs> but never mind that. Make good use of those TM. They should help take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit rep will be along soon to give you your bonus reward. Is it Penny? Is she coming in? Hey! Hey, Penny, how we doing? Um, here I am. Hi! Oh, here comes Rhydon. Yeah! Gah! Stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? Never! <laughs> it's Maridon's job to torment you. Ah! Poor Penny. <laughs> Let's play the tiny violin for her. Ah, uh, it's fine. Maridon's happy now. And probably sleeping. There we go. He's sleeping. Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted to get the bullies to go away. And then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes? What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied, they'd be able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everybody to face their bullies despite knowing how messed up the academy is. What a massive idiot creating Team Star just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. Um, you really think so? I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. Yay! Pokemon materials! The next boss is our very last one. We're counting on you, Hybrid. Okay, thank you, Penny. Bye bye Okay! Beautiful! Well, that was actually really easy. I really struggled with Ortega the first time, mainly because I had zero counters for Fairy. But I think with that, I'm going to leave this episode here. I think what I'm going to do is try and finish the rest of the trainers around here, which I think they're all down by the beach. And I think for the next episode, I'm just going to be messing around. But we're going to have to wait and see, because I am going to leave this episode here. If you guys liked the video, give the video a thumbs up, and maybe subscribe if you want to stick around. Oh, good, I'll see you guys next time. See ya!